Today we're going to be showing you how to replace the water pump on the Origin small block engine. To begin, please ensure you have the required tools and parts. The tools you will need are a 3 8 inch ratchet and extension, 9 16 inch and 13 millimeter sockets, torque wrench, 11 16 inch wrench, impact driver, pry bar, clean rags or paper towels, and a gasket scraper or razor blade. The parts you will need are the replacement water pump, water pump gaskets, barb fitting, 565 thread sealant if needed, gasket adhesive, and also if needed, a replacement water pump pulley, pulley bolts, and or serpentine belt. First, disconnect the battery negative cable assembly from the battery negative terminal. Now drain the coolant from the radiator. If additional information is needed for this step, you may refer to the Origin Repair Procedure document entitled Cooling System Drain Procedure. Remove the right fan shroud. If needed, you may refer to the Origin Repair Procedures ORG0074 and ORG0083. Next, remove the fan. If needed, you may refer to the Origin Repair Procedure ORG0053. Next, using a 3 8 inch ratchet or breaker bar, move the belt tensioner to the right and remove the drive belt. Inspect the serpentine belt. If the belt shows signs of excessive wear, refer to your Origin Engines parts catalog for the correct replacement part number. Remove the water pump pulley's four bolts using a 13 mm socket. Because the bolts have been thread sealed from the factory, you will likely need to use an impact driver to break the bolts free. Now remove the pulley from the water pump. Once the water pump pulley is removed, inspect the pulley for excessive wear. If excessive wear is present, you will need to refer to your Origin Engines parts catalog for the correct replacement part number for the pulley. Loosen the water pump bypass hose clamps. To prevent debris from entering open engine water ports while removing and installing the water pump, blow off or wipe off and remove any contaminants around the area to be worked on. Clean surrounding area with a rag and solvent. Now remove the four water pump mounting bolts from the engine block. You will use a 9 16 inch socket and extension to remove the four bolts. Remove the water pump. You may need to gently pry the pump away from the engine block using a pry bar. Remove and scrape the water pump's gasket and gasket debris from the engine block mating surfaces using a gasket scraper or razor blade. Clean the mating surface area with a clean rag and solvent. Some water pump kits come with a barbed fitting and hose pre-installed. If your kit does not come with pre-installed components, you will need to install the new barb fitting in the new water pump. To do so, apply ample 565 thread sealant to the threads of the barbed fitting. Hand thread the fitting into the water pump. Tighten with an 11 16 inch wrench until resistance is felt. Now apply an extra one to three turns. Apply gasket adhesive to the mating surface of the block and one side of the gaskets.
allow the gasket adhesive to tack up. Align and stick the gaskets to the engine block. Install and hand tighten the four bolts. Using a 916th inch socket, snug tighten the bolts in a cross pattern. In a cross pattern, torque all bolts to 30 foot-pounds. Next, install the water pump pulley and bolts using a 13 millimeter socket. If the engine has a fan, the pulley will be installed first, followed by the fan spacer, then the fan and bolts. Tighten until resistance is felt, then apply an extra one to three turns. These bolts will be torqued after the serpentine belt is installed on the front drive. Reinstall the water pump bypass hose to the water pump. Position the spring clamps at each end of the hose to clamp down hoses. Reinstall the serpentine belt in the position shown. Torque the water pump pulley bolts to 22 foot-pounds in a cross pattern. Reinstall the fan. Torque bolts to 22 foot-pounds in a cross pattern. Reinstall the right fan shroud. Reconnect the negative battery cable. Add coolant to the engine prior to startup. Once the radiator is full, start the engine with the radiator cap removed and run until the upper radiator hose becomes hot, which will indicate that the thermostat is in the open position. Add coolant to the radiator until the level reaches the bottom of the filler neck. Engine must be running at idle speed. Reinstall the radiator cap, making sure the arrows line up with the overflow tube. Inspect for leaks. This concludes the Origin small block engine water pump installation. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact the Origin team by visiting our website at www.origineengines.com or call 877-667-6360.